How quickly do you react to umpiring decisions? In this clip, we're going to look at a couple of different reactions from players to see how it influences the next play. All right, so in a moment, you're going to see a decision gets made by the umpire. Okay, key players I want you to focus on is Germany's number 67, who is the highest on the field for Germany right now. Okay, and then Scottish number 43 over here, who's also in the circle, um, and then Scotland number 49 as well. Okay, so a foul gets made. Okay, a bit of a controversial decision. Um, it goes against Germany, despite um, Germany contesting there. Um, that player came in from behind and stick tackle. Okay, so uh, whether it's the right or the wrong decision, that's not the point. The point is here is the reaction to decisions that get made. Okay, and you can see um, the numbers. So at the moment, Germany's highest player on the field and number 43. Okay, they see the decision. Okay, and they pretty much act instantaneously turn back. Okay, we still got some players who are contesting. The other one I want you to just play attention to is number 49 here as well, who is key in this, this build-up play. Okay, so the ball gets played out wide. Okay, she accelerates to get into space, get ahead of the player, uh, gets the ball, has time to have a look up and assess the options. Okay, and plates a nice weighted pass for guess who? Scotland, number 43, who is picking up the ball in the attacking 23, despite just being inside the D. And number 67 of Germany that we pointed out was the highest point in the circle at the time. Okay, running back cover. Now, had she had not reacted in that way, um, number 43 would have had all this time and space to drive into the circle and shoot. Kate is uh, on her reverse, so takes her time just to get control and pull it strong. Okay, but this player's reaction um, to come back, reacting quickly from the umpiring decision, allows her to now close down, put a bit of pressure. Okay, and um, although she is able to get a shot away, okay, at least she's under a bit more pressure. Um, ultimately, you can see by this player pushing up and these other players pushing up as well, okay, it leads to a short corner. All right, so really good example here of how quickly are you reacting to the umpire's decisions, whether they're right or wrong. They very seldomly are going to change their minds. So how quickly are we able to reset and react to those turnover situations. If you're a hockey player over 35 looking for ways to improve and take your game to the next level, check out my free training I put together called The Four Ways to Modernize Your Game. You can find the link in the description or head to my bio to get instant access.